The stage and accompanying work area in Flash Professional is where all of the visual creation, manipulation, and animation takes place. This lesson demonstrates differences between these two features and properties associated with the stage. So here in Flash Professional CS6, we have a small project open called demoproject.fla. And this project is a basic animation in which some text comes flying in and some objects pull off to the side. This area here, which is represented by all of these red elements, is what's known as the stage. The stage is the visual box in which all of our action actually takes place. If I go and turn off all of my layers, we can see that the stage here appears as this black box. And if we look in the properties panel, we can see our stage properties. We can see the frames per second that this is set to, the exact resolution of our stage, so it's 550 pixels wide by 400 pixels tall, and the stage background color. So normally, when you create a new document, the background color of the stage is going to be white. But for this example, I've made it black. Let's turn on all our layers again so we can see assets on the stage. So we can see here right above the stage that we're actually within scene one. The timeline can be split into many different pieces known as scenes. And whether or not you use scenes depends on exactly what you're doing with Flash Professional. In this case, I don't have any other scenes other than scene one. And I know this because I can use this little drop down here on the edit scene dialog, and I can see that the only scene listed is scene one. Right aside from this, I have my edit symbols dialog in which I could choose any of the symbols that are being used in this project for edit. And right next to that is a convenient zoom control. So if I wanted to zoom way into 800%, I could do that. If I wanted to fit everything within my window, I could do that as well. I tend to like to keep things at 100% when I'm doing most tasks in Flash Professional. This area outside of my stage, it appears gray on my screen here. This area is known as the work area or the pasteboard. And when you actually test a flash project, so I'm going to go through and scroll this thing, and we can see that we have these elements that go off into the pasteboard area, into the work area, and we also have elements such as these text elements here that actually are flying in from the side. But we won't actually see any of that stuff once this is published because it's hidden by default since it's not overlapping the stage. To demonstrate this, I'm going to go up here to control and I'm going to say test movie in Flash Professional test. So we can see this movie run here and you notice we don't actually see anything going on outside of our general stage area. When this is embedded in a web page, we'll see the same exact thing happen. If we embed this at 550 by 400, we're not going to be able to see any of that extra stuff going on outside the stage. So you can use the work area to hide things off screen, such as this text, until we need them, or to move things off screen when you don't need them any longer. We can also use the pasteboard to do things like draw out concepts here, try things out, swap things around, and then test them. So this has been an example of both the stage and the work area within Flash Professional CS6.